going to do a quick question and answer next vlog. So next week I'm going to dedicate five minutes to the vlog of answering your questions. So if you've got anything you want to know about myself, anything that I can answer, anything that you know interests you and that I can maybe you know give a shout out, that's what I'll do. So I'll give your name a shout out on the vlog. Uh, I'll just say for instance, here's a question from so and so and I'll basically then answer the question. So if you've got any questions, put them in the YouTube comments, leave your question and I will write them down, I'll take your details and next week's vlog you could be lucky enough to be shouted out in the vlog and of course your question answered as well. Good morning vloggers, so uh, we are in Cozumel, Mexico. Um, it's not exactly gorgeous today, it it's looks quite windy. Um, we're on our way at Hotel B, it's one of our cast members birthday today, uh, Chris, who's one of the singers in the show. So me and Kimberly, we're going to go to the Hotel B just to chill out, where I was a couple of weeks ago. Hopefully it won't be as boring this time. I'm getting off a bit late as you can, well you probably can't tell because there's no time on it, <laughs> but it's 11.40. Um, I had training this morning from 7.45 until now, so my brain is frazzled, so I'm going to go now get something to eat, have some burritos, have uh, a coke and maybe do some downloading today uh, and then chill out before tonight which is variety night on board and then of course mega deck party. Actually I'm going to get some footage of the mega deck party tonight because I don't think I've got much of that so uh, check it out. Uh, remember keep sharing, keep subscribing, we're getting close. We're so close to the 1000 subscribers. I think we're sitting at just below 700 now. We've got like five or six weeks to get 1000 so please keep sharing. Plus I'm going to get a little bit geeky from my geeky friends who have been asking me Hey man Chris I play PlayStation 4, I play Xbox One, I play PC gaming, I play Nintendo Switch. What's your gaming? What's this? What's that? So I'm going to give you a showdown of all the good stuff. So for all those not so geeky people it may be like two minutes of you going, ugh, but for all the geeks, you're going to be in geek heaven. So uh, yeah, I'll be back with you shortly with more stuff. Let's head off. Kim, you ready? Yeah. She's ready. Okay, we'll see you soon. <laughs> um, oh, we opened the Welcome Aboard show. So we did the brand new Welcome Aboard show, which went down an absolute treat. Um, the, the guests loved it. Um, we were a little bit worried because we thought, Oh no, it's a little bit later now and Rock the Promenade has been going so well on this ship. Like all the guests follow us for Rock the Promenade. There's so many of them and it's the best ship I've ever been on when it comes to that event. So I had worries and doubts that because it was later, we were going to lose a lot of guests. But no, it was actually better and I think it's because we don't have as many kids. Even though there's a lot of kids on board, because it's a little bit later, the kids aren't following us round to the venues, and especially when we go to the nightclub. So um, I'm actually quite surprised. Uh, but all in all, it was really good. It's a good start of a cruise. Um, as I said, I'm going to do this big geek uh, video thing for you, for all my young friends who are into video games and comic stuff, and I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've got on board. And I'm starting to count down the days because I've actually only got about six weeks left. I'm going to think about it. I think I've got six weeks, isn't it? That is a long time. I know Kim's laughing because that is a long time, counting down the days from six weeks. I am super excited for vacation this time because I've been actually on... I've been working on ships now as a cruise director since July last year. I started training in July. I got on my first ship in the middle of August. I went on the dream, as you, as you know, September and October. I was home for two and a half weeks. Then I went on the sunshine. I did November, December and a bit of January. Then again, I was home for just under three weeks. And uh, hi guys, how you doing? Then after three weeks, um, I came on here and I've been here since the beginning of February. So I've not had what you usually get as a cruise director. You get all your, um, your vacations which is usually like two months, two and a half months. So I haven't had mine since last year. I actually haven't had mine when I think on it since I got married. <laughs> I haven't had, and the thing is, when I got married, we just finished an, an eight month contract on the Freedom, that's when I was a playlist performer, and I only had two months, two and a half months vacation. But you can understand, that two and a half months vacation wasn't a vacation because we were organizing the wedding, we were getting everything ready, and then when we got married, I only had a thing about a week and a half, two weeks after the marriage. So yeah, the honeymoon as well, yeah. So now, this is my first proper vacation coming up. 
and I am super excited because I've got my first house. So that's another big thing. So I'm going to get to enjoy it properly and not for the two and a half, three weeks that I've already done so. So uh, yeah, lots coming up, really excited. Oh, man on the bike. I dyed my hair today, as you can see. Um, I dyed it, I thought I'd go for a bit more of the Ron Weasley look. Um, it, it, it's called uh, Platinum Orange. And uh, I, think, I think it's nice. What do you think, thumbs up in the vlog? Should I be a ginger? Now, the other day, I did say I was going to get a little bit geeky, so I keep getting asked loads of questions like what kind of stuff do I do in my free time, what stuff do I like. Now if you've watched previous stuff, you know I'm a massive like comic book person, I love comic books, massive Marvel, DC, uh, I collect comic books back home. But my other big passion, probably just as big a passion, is video games. Now not only do I love to play video games on my downtime, so today is uh, Rotan. Um, it is 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the guests are off the ship until 4.30 so I've got like 2 hours to just chill out and this is what I do in my free time. Uh, so I'm going to show you some of the Nintendo Switch stuff that I have. So um, I'm going to start off with of course the classic one which is Zelda. Now for anyone that doesn't know, Zelda is like the game of games. This game is just amazing um i've i've not played all of it yet but it, i from what i've played it's just beyond unbelievable to think that the game itself comes in this small little cartridge it's amazing so i uh, i've got zelda which is great i've also got one for the team this is a uh, one two switch this is a lot of fun we play this one as a, a team once a cruise we get together and we uh, play games, it's got lots of cool stuff on it. Uh, one of the games is actually you have to pretend you're rocking a baby. So the switch becomes a baby and if you rock it correctly, it will stop crying. But if you don't, it will cry continuously. And if the person who can get it to stop crying the quickest is the best. Taylor, our front squad member, is the best. 16 seconds, that's ridiculous. Took me 85 seconds. So. Next up is, of course, uh, another great one just out, LEGO City Undercover. Uh, this is fun. Um, I love all the LEGO games. I had this for the Wii U when it came out, so now I've got it on the Switch. It makes it even better. So uh, I've been playing this one recently. Another great one is another new one called Has Been Heroes. This is a bit like an RPG um, turn-based strategy game. Another good one. Great. And, of course, I have Skylanders Imaginators. Um, only because, again, they come with the little toys that you collect and you play with. And already I have, they're all over there, I have about seven or eight. So I collect, I want to get them all now. <laughs> Even though I've not played much of the game, I want the collection. I'm really sad. So uh, that's my, my uh, Nintendo Switch games. Moving on to PS4. I've collected PS4 since the day it came out, so I've been religiously collecting games for it. I play a lot of great games, but I also collect ones that I won't even play, but I just want them for the collection. So I'm going to go through a couple that I've got since I've been here, uh, and I've played some of. So of course, uh, it's still in the wrapper, uh, Call of Duty, Advanced, Infinity Warfare, sorry. Uh, another great one is Ghost Recon Wildlands. Neo, which I'm so impressed with, it's like Dark Souls for all my geek friends. It's like Dark Souls, but not as hard, but really, really gratifying. So this is more like a vacation game, and it's Horizon Zero Dawn. I started it, it's unbelievable, but I really need to spend some time on it. It's like Witcher or Fallout 4. You need some good time for this one. I'm in a lot of Japanese stuff, like Japanese RPG games. Uh, first up is the one I haven't touched yet, but it is, of course, Yakuza. I've heard so many good reviews on this. Uh, there's a reviewer called Angry Joe, and he said this is one of the best games that he's ever played. So, uh, as you can see, it's still in the wrapper. I haven't opened that yet. But the one that I'm playing at the moment, that any downtime that I have, I'm playing, I absolutely love it. And it comes in the best case. 
is Persona 5. This is the best Japanese RPG game. Look at the cover. It's like red and it's so nice. Um, so yeah, I'm playing uh, Persona 5 at the moment, which I'm really loving. So that's all I've got for PS4 on board. Don't have a lot, but I do have my PS4 at home with so many games. And on board, I have a PS4 Slim, so it's easier for traveling with. Next up is a console that most people have in the household. It is, of course, the Xbox One. But here we go. First up is For Honor. Hasn't been opened because I was so upset. I was so excited to play it. But it looks like I won't be able to touch it until I go home. Because as you can see, right at the bottom, it says requires internet. Bummer. Uh, next up is a game that I, I just got on Sunday. Uh, I played it originally for the PS, the, the Xbox 360. It's Bulletstorm Full Clip. A great one. Um, I love Banjo and Kazooie. Another great game from my Xbox 360 days. And this one's called Ukulele. Hasn't been opened yet, but it looks so much fun. It's like a 3D platformer. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm a big football person as well, as you know. If you don't, I'm a Manchester United fan. Um, I go to some games when I can. I've, I've been obsessed since a child. Thief 17 it is a must on the Xbox One. And of course, I still go with the other side as well. I go with a bit of Pez 2017 as well. Now, biggest disappointment of the year so far. A game that I've only given about four hours of my time to, and the four hours I've gave, I've been so upset. Mass Effect Andromeda. This game was supposed to be the best game after Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3. I played all three of them and I was super excited. They have made a big Meg mashup with this one. It's not good. I want Dead Rising 4, bit of a zombie hack and slash. Uh, it's alright. Not as good as previous ones, but it's decent. So I, I played a little bit of that. This is a game that I got um, last year and I haven't opened it yet. Um, it's called ReCore for the Xbox One. I've been told it's a little bit like a Metroid Prime, but mm, I just haven't got around to it. So that's one for vacation. Next up, really fun one. Sunset Overdrive, this is a lot of fun for the Xbox One, I've had that for a while. Uh, next up I do have this one which is Star Wars The Force Awakens. More of the, uh, the sale signs on it, I got this one in the UK but I haven't um, opened it yet. Another one that takes up your time, I got the Skyrim Masters Edition which is fun on the Xbox One. Then of course Battlefield 1, another great game. This is probably my favourite Battlefield game that's been released in a long time. Probably on par with Battlefield 4, but I really like the old World War 1 setting, which makes it good. Gears of War 4, I've played half of. I haven't really gotten into it. I, I need a game with a good narrative. I need a game that's going to pull me in. That's why Persona 5 at the moment, the storyline is so good in the PS4 that it's got all my attention. This one had me and then lost me, so I, I need to come back to that. Halo Wars 2, I haven't opened it yet. I like my strategy games as well, and I've been told this one's really good. Probably the best console strategy game on the market. Another great one is the Hitman Steelback Book Edition. Again, I got this because of the reviews. The reviews were told it was the best Hitman in the series. I haven't touched it yet, so I will come round to that. Another one for vacation. Sniper Elite 4. This game is fun. I played all of the ones in the and the, the whole franchise. Four so far is really, really good. It's better than three. Um, I really like this one. It's good. And finally, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. We play this as a cat, as a group on board, so all the team comes around on game night and we like to play it as a team because it is so scary. Yes, it is petrifying. I will not play this game on my own. Well, there's been a young gentleman that's been following me all cruise and going, can I be on the vlog, can I be on the vlog? And his name is Hayden. Hayden, say hello to the vlog. Hello, y'all. <laughs> I just wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, some lovely guests who uh, gave me a thank you, thank you card. Um, and they, they, they bought me a little gift, a little t-shirt, uh, which I was really really hot it was really nice thank you so much but i met them last night and i've been watching them all cruise long and they've been filming like lots of cool stuff but they've been using my camera not mine personally but the same make the canon g7x mark ii and i've always been looking at it going wow that's that's a vlogging camera then last night they stopped me and basically at the the lido after i finished work it was like 12 15 at night and i was grabbing some pizza before going to bed which is probably the worst thing you can eat before going to bed but i did so um last night i met them and found out that they are vloggers and this is their vlogging website 
check it out. Let me just see if I can focus in on this. There we go. It's EECC Travels. Uh, you can check these guys out. They are unbelievable. They do lots of traveling as a family. So make sure, guys on my page, drop a like or drop a sub uh, subscribe to them and uh, tell them in the comments when you subscribe to them that you came from the Flying Scotsman's channel. They've been enjoying the vlogs as well, which uh, means the world to me because as I said to you before, this started off as something that I was just going to do maybe once every so often and now it's become a hobby. I really enjoy vlogging. So uh, thank you guys. It was an absolute pleasure. The whole family, Jason, Alyssa, Ethan, Cameron and Colby. Love you guys, thank you so much, and remember, make sure you subscribe to them, and when you do subscribe, drop a comment in the YouTube comments for them and say you've came from my channel, from the Flying Scotsman's channel, um, that would be great. Thank you.